Hi, Real Recapped here. Today, we're going to recap the horror and thriller movie called A Quiet Place Part 2. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The movie begins with our protagonist from the last movie, Lee, going to the grocery store. It's day one of the attack. There is a news report announcing some type of attack in the country. He buys what he needs and goes to his destination. It's his son's baseball game in a park. His wife, Evelyn, is there as well. We also meet this other guy, Emmett, who is Lee's friend. While the game continues, an asteroid-type thing appears in the sky. Lee takes his daughter to retrieve their truck. Evelyn takes her son and goes home. Dogs are barking like crazy, and Lee finally arrives at his truck. But the police car shows up, so he gets up to him and asks what's going on. When something hits the police cars, and like the smart man he is, Lee rushes to his car. Evelyn meets the creature as well, and manages to get away, barely. Lee's truck isn't starting, so he rushes into the local library to hide, along with many people. One man starts murmuring verses from the Bible, and Lee makes him quiet. The creature passes the library when a phone rings. The creature kills many people, but Lee and his daughter manage to run. On the road, the policeman starts shooting at the creature with a gun. It doesn't work. We cut to the ending of the last movie. Evelyn reloads her shotgun, and we see the title of the movie. It's day 474 since the attack of those creatures. Evelyn quietly goes outside with her family. Their barn is burning down. The girl's name is Reagan, and the boy is named Marcus. Evelyn goes into the basement of the barn. At the same time, Reagan is trying to find something. Evelyn puts the babe in a soundproof box. Reagan is trying to activate a radio. Being as quiet as she can, Evelyn finds the oxygen canister. Then, we see Reagan pointing at some things on her map. They decided to leave their house and explore the nearby city. At the end of their sand trail, they bravely move forward. They see smoke coming from the other side of the mountain. So, they go that way. In the evening, they finally arrive there, but nobody is there. So, they continue following the railroad, and soon enough, arrive in the small town. While going through a fence, they activate a trap that makes a lot of noise when activated. They run and we see somebody looking at them through a sniper. They run for their lives when Marcus steps straight into a bear trap. Needless to say, he screams. But Evelyn manages to stop him. That's when we hear the creature approaching. Reagan prepares her radio, and Evelyn blows its head off. They run into a nearby building where they meet Emmett. He was the man who was looking at them earlier. Another creature is nearby. So the family follows Emmett to a safe house. They barely manage to get to the bank vault, where they are safe. Emmett starts a timer when they settle down. He immediately tells them that they can't stay here. Emmett has his face covered. Evelyn recognizes him. She shows him the baby and asks him for help. The alarm starts beeping, and Emmett opens the vault door. He gets out to give them alcohol. Evelyn then starts stitching Marcus's injury. A bit later, they are resting quietly. Emmett asks Evelyn how their radio weapon works. And when she gets nervous, Emmett explains that there is a three meter thick concrete wall on top of them. And the creatures won't hear them unless they are standing directly on top of it. Evelyn says that she doesn't know how it works. And... Emmett reveals that he hasn't seen a dead creature before. Evelyn is sorry because Emmett lost both his sons on the first day of the attack, and his wife a couple of weeks ago. She asks him if he ever thought about coming for her. Lee was burning a fire every day to alert any survivors. And Emmett answers that the people have turned into the types of people that don't deserve to be saved. Just then, they hear the song on the radio. Reagan is very intrigued, but Emmett dismisses this and says it's been playing for weeks now. Emmett also asks them to leave tomorrow. Later, 
They are sleeping when Reagan wakes up Marcus and takes him into the vault. Reagan believes that the song on the radio is not just a song, but also gives them a direction of where to look for the source of the song. She has decided to go alone and find the source to save them. Marcus doesn't want her to go and says that mom will not let her go anyway. In the morning, Reagan has already left to go to her destination. When Emmett comes back, Evelyn begs him to find Reagan. She appeals to his empathy. Reagan is following the railroad with a shotgun in her hand. She approaches a train and gets into one of the cabins. There are bodies on the floor. The train experienced a crash of some sort. Reagan then finds and reaches for the first aid kit. She slowly grabs it and then gets scared by a skeleton. That's when the creature approaches her. She activates her weapon and then shoots, but kind of misses. So she tries reloading, but fails. And just as she's about to get killed, Emmett splits the creature's head open. They run to the nearby train station. Emmett tells her that they will stay here until the creatures leave. And then he realizes that Reagan is deaf. He manages to make her understand his plan, but she is against it. She asks him for help. Reagan tells him that he can do enough now. Back at the bank, Evelyn is taking care of the baby. The baby's oxygen canister is getting lower and lower. We then get back to Reagan. She doesn't have her earpiece and starts panicking. Emmett is also nowhere to be seen. She starts crying, but Emmett gets back to her and tells her that he found a boat. Back in the bank, Evelyn is also going out for some reason. Marcus tries to follow her, but he can't for obvious reasons. So he and the baby still stay at the vault and Evelyn is going somewhere else. Reagan and Emmett are following a road. Then they cross a bridge. We see Evelyn getting back to the place where her son got killed by the creature some time ago. She stays there for some time and then goes back. Back at the bank, Marcus is taking care of the baby. He then puts the baby in its box and decides to go somewhere. Reagan and Emmett are now somewhere in the suburbs. Marcus gets out of the bank, Reagan and Emmett are getting to the boat, and Marcus is going upstairs. Evelyn is in the pharmacy shop and is grabbing as many useful items as she can. Emmett and Reagan finally get to the boat, but get alerted, so they investigate. Marcus is looking through the window at that point. Back to Evelyn, she grabs two oxygen containers. While Marcus is still looking around the building, Emmett and Reagan find a little girl who traps him and runs away. Marcus gets scared and makes a lot of noise. Emmett and Reagan get ambushed by some people. Marcus rushes to the vault and takes the radio with him. He closes the door and gets locked in. Evelyn is going back to the bank and that's when Marcus realizes that he forgot to turn the timer and now can't open the door. The people take all of Reagan's stuff. Evelyn devises a trap to kill the creature. Marcus is dying slowly, and Reagan is taken away by the people. Evelyn burns the creature using the air canister, while Emmett manages to get away along with Reagan in chaos. The creature doesn't die, but Evelyn manages to trigger the fire alarm which forces the creature to open its head. Evelyn realizes what's going on and gets into the vault in time to save Marcus. Back to Emmett. He is trying to swim away from the creature and finds out they can't swim. He is then taken on the boat by Reagan. They start going to the small island just off the coast. They approach the houses slowly. There are many people just sitting around, generally having a good time. Since the creature couldn't swim, this island was shielded from them. The people on the island sent the signal to the potential survivors. The community leader reveals that they got to this island the day the creatures attacked. The National Guard was the one that helped them get to this island, but many more could have been saved if they had been patient. He then asks Emmett where they came from, and Emmett reveals that they are two days away from the other survivors. 
Emmett and Reagan then plan to go back and take the rest of the family back to this island. They will get help from the people as well. Emmett then apologizes to Reagan for not helping her right away. He goes to the beach and cries while thinking about his family. He then finds out that one of the creatures got onto the boat they used. He tries to save as many people as possible, but the creature goes on a killing spree. Emmett, Reagan, and the leader take a car and try to lure the creature away. The creature grabs onto the car and almost kills Reagan. They arrive at the radio station, and the leader gets killed. Reagan and Emmett hide. Meanwhile, Evelyn and Marcus are still in the vault. Reagan and Emmett continue quietly going to the main control room of the radio station. Some time later, Evelyn opens the vault and looks around to see if the creature has left. Reagan manages to sneak into the control room. Trying to keep quiet, she makes a bit of noise, and the creature is alerted. Evelyn gets out and grabs her bag, but the creature chases her. In the radio station, the creature finds out where Reagan is. So, Emmett closes the door to the control room to keep the creature away. He gets injured in the process. Evelyn and Marcus go as back in the vault as possible, while the creature tries to grab one of them. Reagan turns on her earpiece and causes the creature to struggle. The radio transmits the annoying noise to Marcus's radio, and he manages to make the creature go back. Reagan does the same. Marcus with a pistol and Reagan with an iron bar kill the creature. They are saved. And that wraps up our recap for the movie A Quiet Place Part 2. Feel free to drop a comment below as to what we should recap next. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching, and see you next time on another Real Recapped.